Hey everybody, I'm Rima Desai from theguidingstar.org. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about astrology and some great secrets on how you can understand a person's chart, make a probable analysis of what their chart looks like just by looking at them and interacting with them without even knowing their birth date. If you would want to know that, stay around because I'm sharing some great secrets with you today. And I don't know if this video or this topic has ever been made before by anybody else. I haven't looked for it. I haven't come across it. So this is, I hope, something very unique that you're going to hear. Now, do you know that when you are interacting with me, when you're talking to me or even when I just look at your picture, uh, if it's on Facebook and I've never met you before, I can still say, tell or say some, some important things about you. Why can I do that? Of course, there's one part to it, which is intuition. There is psychology background that helps me. Just not even, part, part of it is, of course, a lot of intuition. But besides that, even the way a person speaks or the postures they use help me understand through my background in psychology what this person is thinking or what their personality type is. So today I was standing somewhere and there was a person, yes, at the bank and there was a person standing behind me who was initially excited and waiting, waiting to have a turn. So he was looking forward to it and there was a certain post, he had an open posture, you know, his hands were on the side and he was standing. And then when he started getting frustrated having to wait that long, his hands came up here by his chest, which shows now frustration is building up. So just by observing people and their nonverbal behaviors, we can tell a lot. But even more than that, just by looking at a person's features, how they look, the color of their skin in comparison to their culture and ethnicity, uh, even all of the other features they have, the eyes and hair, and the manner in which they speak, they present themselves, their gait, etc. You can tell a lot about what this person's birth chart or horoscope looks like. And of course, I'm not the astrologer who knows all of those details. So if you ask me from your, from my eyes, tell me uh, what planets or what signs, but I can give a good guess about a person's second house, family life, which is family life, eating habits, spending assets when I interact with them or their seventh house, fifth house, if they're business, so, so if you're entrepreneurs, leadership qualities and business are seen from fifth and seventh house along with other houses, of course. Uh, and there are many other combinations also that would come in play in different houses, but I'm talking about the most prominent, most important ones. So when you know a person is a leader and they've done business all their life, you know that they have activity going on in the seventh and the fifth house, which means that they definitely have planets there and probably depending on how well they're doing in business, they have good planets. And then if you see somebody, so my father, he started business and it took him a long time to, to progress in his business. But then over time, he did really well. He kept getting better and better at it and uh, get, getting better at his business. So this shows that for me, I just by knowing that I could say, I haven't seen his chart, so I don't know his chart, but by knowing that I could say the seventh and the fifth house, and then there is some influence of probably Saturn there, or he was running a Saturn Mahadasha because Saturn is, is over time. It takes long periods of time for Saturn to give you results. Uh, so it's just, you just need to know the basics of astrology. You need to know what is the meaning and characteristics of planets, uh, houses, and signs. And I've done some of that. If you've heard my first four videos for the beginners, basic astrology, you can go onto my YouTube channel and find that. So let's talk about the second house. Let's talk about you have a friend who you know belongs to a very religious family. And religious is different from spiritual. Religious is praying to God, praying to a force that you call God or gurus and following them. Spirituality is more about being kind, the values that you hold and how you apply them in the world when you interact with others. So when you when you have a friend coming from a very religious uh, family and, and this friend is also somebody who likes to give advice or share wisdom, then you know there's Jupiter influence over there because Jupiter rules the ninth house of religion and uh, Jupiter is also wisdom. Or if you have somebody who takes a, takes a long time to form their thoughts into words, 
And when they start speaking, you know, some people, they speak slow and they have these ideas and they're talking about it and then they're slowly adding, adding words to that. Now that's Saturn. Saturn is a slow pattern. And it doesn't mean they have to have Saturn in the second house, but it could mean that Saturn is looking at it. So every planet has aspects which we call, they look at certain houses from where they're sitting, or it could be uh, Capricorn or Aquarius, which are Saturn signs uh, that are ruling the second house. So, but you can get a guess, you can get a good guess of, okay, this person has Saturn influence. Uh, we may not know exactly what type, which type of Saturn influence, but you know that it's Saturn. Or somebody who speaks very quickly, has Mar probably has Mars or Mars with Mercury or Moon with Mercury. So those combinations will bring a person have a person speak quickly. Then there are people who will also speak very nice and they can also be very rude. So you have, you know that there's a plus and a minus influence. There are positive and a negative influence. Or some people have amazing speech. They're very charismatic. Uh, and they, they could even be spendthrifts. And that could be Mercury or Venus influence. So it's amazing how much you can tell about a person. Even the face, the features of the face, primarily ruled by the first and the second house you also have the 12th house so the, the the first three houses at the top not the first three houses sorry the three houses at the top of a chart so that's the ascendant the first house and then you have the second house and here's the 12th the last house now that's all about like the body the face including like the brain the left and the right brain and the eyes so you can tell that uh, you know, if you have somebody who has a charismatic face, a glowy, shiny face, or has just has a powerful presence uh, from the way they look, then you have you could have the influence of Sun or Moon or Mercury or Jupiter, uh, Venus, all of the positive planets, and then Sun is partially positive, so the you would know that these planets are looking at or having an influence in this person's chart. Now, somebody with exceptionally good looks could have maybe Rahu with Venus or a strong Venus with uh, another planet. There, are, Of course, there are, there are many combinations, but you could easily tell once you are in the practice of it and you know enough of basic astrology, you could easily tell whether it's a positive or a negative influence or a combination of both. And in some cases, like a fast speaker or a rapper, some people who rap could also be fast eaters and spendthrifts because then you have a planet like Mars or Mars and Mercury um, being present there or influencing that planet. So they are also, they, when they are present in the second house, it could also mean spending, you know, being impulsive. Being a, Mars in any house would mean being impulsive with things related to that house. And uh, ninth, some, let's say somebody loves traveling or they're very religious. Now that's again ninth house things or Jupiter things. Uh, traveling is 100% like ninth house things. And somebody who's a travel freak could even have Rahu. Rahu in any house just blows it out of proportion. And Jupiter in any house expands that quality of feature. So uh, 12th house, let's talk about 12th house. 12th house could be prisons, isolation, working in isolation, people who just work in, on their own desks and don't have social interaction at their work, or insomnia, even foreign lands. 11th house is stock exchange. You know, people who are a lot into stock exchange could be 11th house along with maybe Mercury, which is accounts and finance. So it's so interesting. Like if you, for example, if you know me, I'm, I'm making videos now, right? And I am uh, it's doing it like it's similar to building a kind of a business from home. So if you knew what is computers, because I'm using computers or online, a medium, and then speech. So I'm using my speech and then I'm kind of coming on a public platform. So houses from media. So you can see that I'm, these three planets, these three houses or certain planets are influencing my chart um, so i want you to just be have that open mind uh, and be observant of people around you and the more you practice it the more you come into it uh, you start and then there's also i work a lot through intuition so i could look at your picture and i can tell a lot about your personality just by looking at you and there are many times that when i'll doubt it i'll be like maybe this and then i get confirmed in that something happens and i'll be like yes i always knew it so start believing your intuitions, looking at your inner voice, observing people and understanding that astrology can be used very practically, very realistically in the world if you know how to use it.
it's not all blah blah and all up in the air and planets that are just hanging in space it's not all about that it's about your day-to-day -day workings um can even tell somebody who has health problems the sixth house things or mercury things a chronic illness would be six thousand of and an influence of a planet like saturn saturn's long duration right so or old age when you're uh, feeling old and you're feeling worn out so just just understand and then there are other charts to look at you know you have early life that is the birth chart and then the later life that is the now marsh or after marriage life but the birth chart by itself if you have just that you can do predictions even just by using the birth chart um so you don't need to get into understanding what would be this person's now marsh like you just need to know oh, what would be this person's uh, when you know somebody has a great marriage or a bad marriage, so it's seventh house things or Venus, which means, or it could be relationships. So Venus is rules relationships. Children is fifth house things. So somebody who cannot get children easily loses their child. That's fifth house. So then you know fifth house is also related to business, speculative business and romance. So you know that then uh, that there is some negative influence there as well. Well, again, Sometimes uh, the main feature of that house could be damaged, but the person could be doing good in the other areas related to that house. So the fifth house is mainly children, but they could be doing well in their business, but yet you know there is some negative influence going on to the, to the business as well. So I hope this inspires you to learn more about astrology. Sorry, sorry about that trick. And I am doing my best to make videos that are informative, inspiring, and fun for you all. Okay, bye-bye. This is Rima Desai once again from theguidingstar.org. That's my blog. Bye.